Hi, hey, good to see you again. Now let's have a look at uh, medieval Rostock, at the Monastery of the Holy Cross, former nunnery. So gentlemen are allowed today, of course, in the museum, but uh, an old nunnery. And as you can see, we're directly at uh, the old city wall as well. And presenting this side is a view to the church and the, the dormitory refectionary of the old nunnery. We're going back uh, 750 years here. We just celebrated 750 years anniversary of the foundation. And guess what? A real Danish queen supposedly was the founder of this monastery. She had something to make up of the Pope. So she decided to travel to Rome and uh, speak to him, gain forgiveness. And he sent her back, asking her to found new monasteries back home in Denmark. She got stranded in Rostock, keep it short, uh, got stranded in Rostock. And uh, obviously uh, she couldn't leave Rostock for weather circumstances, political circumstances. She obviously thought uh, this is the sign of heaven she was looking for. Let's found the monastery here. And that's what she did, uh, 1270 in September. And uh, let nuns of the Cistercian order come settle here and uh, give a home to the unmarried daughters uh, of the good families in Rostock. So none of that, of course, we can prove to you today, but we believe in it. And the splinter of the Holy Cross she brought from Rome to found the new monastery uh, is still available to be seen inside the church. So today, as you can see, looking around, it looks like the nuns just moved out a few months ago. Everything's uh, neatly preserved. It's uh, the Cultural History Museum of Rostock today. And walking through the inside, you can still get the impression of the old nunnery. The girls here, later on, changing from Catholic to Lutheran belief, uh, were no longer nuns, but convent ladies. So they lived in smaller buildings. Have a look at this side of the monastery area. The small buildings here were home to the convent ladies until about 100 years ago. Uh, giving them more room and more privacy than what they used to have in the nun cells in what used to be the monastery. Nowadays, a lovely cafe, a liter literature house, galleries, shops are in here, so it's one of the most quaint sites in Rostock to take a stroll. And since in my back you have a look at the city wall, you see they were in the city but at the, at the corner at the edge of it. So the city wall still is preserved here a little bit and uh, the monastery gardens are a place where the Rostockers like to go for lunch or just to hang out. It's a place where we have Christmas market and it's a place where we have jazz evenings, theatre plays, etc. So it's a place of history and culture today. Right? Yeah, whoever's got the idea of uh, Going inside the museum, it's a lovely little museum, and uh, every year several new exhibitions, something about the town's history, of course, but also uh, something relating to uh, the church, to art. We have a, a very nice uh, collection of arts as well for the for the young and the old. Uh, there's always something to do. Why not dress up as a nun, try to write with a feather as they used to do, and get an impression of what the life of these girls was like 600 years ago. Right, yeah, well then, let's walk on and uh, see you in a bit at the university.